Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at this straw which cost me 25 bucks but it can supposedly replace a coffee maker. It's the Jogo Brew Straw and that's today's video. All right so after looking over the instructions there's only three parts of the straw itself. There is this filter here. There is the stainless steel straw itself and then there is this silicone tip which you can take off but it's a little bit awkward to do so. And there it is. Inside the straw was this cleaning brush and they also have this drawstring pouch. The silicone tip here supposedly helps uh, with heat so you don't burn your lips and they do suggest to clean it after every use. I should also point out that the Jogo should not be confused with the Gojo phone holder from the 90s that I reviewed a couple years ago, but I digress. Now they say to use one round a tablespoon for five ounces of water. On a relatively small 12 inch mug, five ounces is only about to right there. Uh, a lot, most people don't want to have that small amount, so I'm going to double it. I'm going to go two tablespoons and 10 ounces of water. They can also say you can use it for tea, so I'm going to try that as well. So let me just jump right into it and try it out. I'm going to, I have two cups here. I'm going to do coffee and tea. I've got my coffee in this cup. I've got some loose tea in that one. All right, I'm going to set the tea aside for a little bit and do the coffee first. Now they say to stir the coffee and then just let it sit for about four minutes. Now it's already it's already covered in grounds just from stirring it. So that's how many grounds are in there. All right, so I'm just going to let this sit for four minutes and then come back and give it a try. All right, at the two minute mark, you can definitely see some grounds just kind of floating around in there. That would not be pleasant to drink. I'll be curious how this really works. And we're at the four minute mark. The moment has arrived. Now I should also point out they say to use hot water, not boiling water. The current temperature of this water is about 165. So some people might think that's perfect. Some people may not. But here we go. The moment of truth. Give one last stir, here we go. Do I think this is gonna work? If you had told me without looking at the reviews, I'd say no, but after seeing how people like it, I'm gonna say it might. Oh, wow. Wow, there's actually zero grounds in that, and it's actually very smooth tasting. Wow, I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. I'm, I'm very impressed, actually. Some people had asked if you could add creamers to it. I don't see why that would affect anything, but let's try adding a little creamer and see what happens. Wow, that's actually, uh, that's very smooth tasting. I really, when I first ordered this, I thought there was no way it's gonna work. Then I started reading the reviews and I thought well, maybe it will. And now after trying it, it does. I'm gonna down this cup of coffee and I'm gonna see how much is left in the bottom and what the state of the straw is. So let me, uh, let me guzzle this cup of coffee in the afternoon and see what we got left at the bottom. As I'm drinking this, you can take a look. You can see how much is actually in there, wow. There is a lot in there. It tastes good though. I I'm completely shocked that this tastes as good as it does. It's a very smooth flavor and I haven't got a single ground in my mouth, but I'm gonna keep going. Now, some people may not like the idea of drinking coffee through a straw, but they do say that it helps your teeth stain less. So that's probably a good thing. Uh, I don't really mind it so much. I don't usually do it that way, but I don't really mind it. Uh, we're getting close here and I've still got no grounds in my mouth. So, so far so good. All right, as I'm getting to the bottom here, a bit of an update, check this out. There's almost nothing but grounds left. And that's all she wrote. All the grounds in the bottom, I got none in my mouth. I think it works. I'm gonna have to rinse that off, but it looks like it's all on the outside, not on the inside. All right, so as far as the coffee goes, I'm very impressed. I really kind of gave it a little chance of working when I first ordered it. But after reading the reviews, I had high hopes and actually using it myself, I'm impressed. But let's move on to the tea now and see how that works. This tea has been kind of sitting here for about 15 minutes now. Just gonna kind of do the same thing, just stir it up. Mmm. That, that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. There's a lot of tea. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. There's a lot of tea floating around in there and none are going through the straw. None of it. Wow, I'm, I'm kind of impressed by that. Well, the coffee worked well, the tea worked well, but I got one more thing I want to try out just out of curiosity. They do say you can use it for other drinks as well. So I picked up some of this high pulp orange juice here. This stuff is like sludge. Let's see if we can get that to work with the straw. Let me just try it without the straw first. Mm. That's very pulpy. There's like a layer on top of just pulp floating there. I mean, look at that. That's just like dense. Now let's try the straw in here and see if it tastes like pulp-free orange juice. Mm. Maybe it's too pulpy. I'm having a hard time actually getting anything through the straw. <laughs> well, maybe it's not good for that much pulp. It's, it seems like it might be clogging the filter. I'm getting some through there, but not much. Oh, well, I think maybe orange juice may, may have been a bit too much for it. Mm -mm. 
They didn't really say it was good for that, but I tried and I would say it's not good for that. But that's pretty much it for this one. As far as the coffee and the tea goes, I really think it worked surprisingly well. The coffee was smooth, no grounds in my mouth. The same with the tea as far as the loose tea goes. So I have nothing really bad to say about it, unless you're a big fan of, uh, of orange juice and don't want your pulp in there. But if you've tried this or something like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.